know you know you know you know attention boy I hate you every single one of y'all motherfuckers you make my blood boil <laughs> there's so many different types of of attention hoes. You got the attention hoes who act like whatever they post on Facebook that we actually give a fuck about what they got to fucking say. What he or she got to say. Yeah, I said he or she. Uh-uh. Just cause the title says attention hoes doesn't mean y'all fellas are out the way in the clan shit. I'm calling y'all niggas out too. Damn, Don. I thought he was on the same side. Same team, nigga. Of course we're on the same team, bro. I'm just coaching the players that are on our team that suck ass. In other words, want too much attention. Talking to you, nigga. Me? Yeah, you. Now, if you're kind of questionable about if you're an attention whore, just ask yourself. Do you post statuses every day? Basically, fishing for compliments. Hmm? Even in pictures. <laughs> now, I know y'all seen people fishing for compliments in their pictures. Mm hmm. Saying shit like, I look so damn ugly. <laughs> then why in the hell would you put it on Facebook? Not like it's the most popular social network and everybody gonna see your ass or anything like that. Everybody is gonna see your I look so ugly picture. That's bullshit. That's like making a song of you singing and you send it to a record company saying, I sound so horrible. Them record label people would laugh so fucking hard that they would cry out of their ass. But it's too obvious why attention hoes do it. They out fishing for compliments. Then there's those thirsty ass niggas that would gas them up. Not even the expression of gassing them up. Literally gassing them up. Because compliments are their few. Think about it, y'all. What do humans need to survive? We gonna need food. We gonna need water. We gonna need oxygen. Attention hoes are just like, fuck that. Likes on my status keep my butt flowing and comments on my photos keep me standing, honey. Well, technically, you sitting on your ass on Facebook every day. So, shut your ass up. Bitch. We have to kill attention hoes, ladies and gentlemen. I gonna kill them. Don't give them compliments. Don't even give them likes. If we trying to exterminate the motherfuckers, we can't give them view. In other words, don't give them a like. They love that shit. If you mad, that shows you're an attention whore. Don't like the truth, you mad, don't like it. Sue me, bitch. What other attention whores are there? There are the attention whores that be on that. Is that so hard to ask for a status? As in... Um, why can't everybody just mind their own fucking business? <laughs> like, is that so hard to ask for? Shut the fuck up ho oh. first of all you can't expect to be putting your business online saying shit about your relationship problems problems at home etc then complain about your business being put on facebook but when people like us like me who hate attention whores tell them this what is their response think nibble you can't tell me what and what not to post on my stats because it does say in the tab bar what's on your mind. Hello? Nah, bitch, don't worry. I'm still on the line. Mad bars, mad minutes. I can talk all day, babe. So that's your response? A tab bar that says what's on your mind? Have you lost your damn mind? You attention whores say it like as if you were forced at gunpoint to say what's on your mind. Questions. Don't disobey me, and most importantly, don't say a goddamn thing. Post a status about your personal feelings right now. Did you not just hear me? Huh? I said, post that motherfucking status. Now! Nope. It ain't like that. Good answer, guys. Mm hmm Because the tab bar says what's on your mind. Really? If that tab bar said, what's your social security number? Would you post your social security number? Hell nah. If that tab bar said, what color panties you got on right now? 
would you post a picture of you in your panties? Some of y'all attention whores would actually do it to get your likes and comments up in the triple digits, but uh, racking up on likes ain't your hoe. But for the people watching that have dignity for themselves and have respect for their body, if that tab bar said, what color panties you got on right now? Will we post a picture of us in our underwear and panties? Hell nah! If that tab bar said, empty your pockets, nigga. You wouldn't empty your pockets, nigga. So if you use that what's on your mind excuse, you're an attention whore. Don't like the truth, you mad. You don't like it, sue me, bitch. And last but not least, definitely not least, I swear I hate y'all motherfuckers. We got the subliminal attention whores, but I like to call them the unfinished book. You know why? Well, I ain't gonna tell you. Fucking, but you know why? We actually have people on Facebook that would put someone on blast by tagging the person. And then we got the attention whores who would actually make a status and we don't know who the fuck it is. Cause they don't tag them. That's why I call them unfinished books. You don't see an author making a book and they don't say who it's by, who this character is. At least tag the person in the damn book. Shit! For example, you're mad fake. Watch when I see you. Who's mad fake? Unfinished chapter. What did they do? Unfinished section. What you gonna do when you see he or she? Unfinished story. Matter of fact, I'ma start a movement. If you see a subliminal status or an attention whore fishing for compliments, just comment. Fuck your couch, nigga. And if they use the excuse of the what's on your mind shit, just comment. Oh, really? Well, the tab bar below says I can write a comment. So I can say whatever the fuck I want to. <sighs> Sauced. If you're an attention whore, kill yourself before the people in the fuck your couch movement kill you first. Don't like the truth? You mad? You don't like it? Sue me, bitch. And I will see you at court in the morning. Like this video if you're in the fuck your couch nigga movement. <laughs> Get hip and subscribe and comment and follow on Twitter Don Bells TV so you can know what I'm working on and you can give new topics so you can still get that shout out. Don't think I forgot. Subscribe NAP313. Follow on Twitter Don Wells TV. Well, I'm out. Love y'all. On Facebook about your relationship problems. Hold on, let me try again. <laughs> First of all, you can't expect yourself to put your business online and then come. Hold on. What am I saying? To put your business on. Hold on. First of all, you can't. Improv. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means, but it just sounds funny because I heard it on Family Guy a couple of days ago.